Hello everyone, it is Lisa Lyle here of Wisdom of the Heart Intuitive Healing on Facebook and my website is www.lisalyle.com and I'm guided here to sit here today, it's Friday the 19th of June and I'm being asked to record a message for the summer solstice here in the northern hemisphere and the winter solstice on the in the south and if you'll notice that, that well you may have noticed that I've been guided to position myself uh, in the center here of some pink peonies and this truly is a message of unconditional love and we are really asked in new ways to step forth and step into our beingness and we do this through love and love heals all wounds and so this is this is where we are this is a time of purification we are being asked to um, step out and forth in new ways and we're being shown and we've shown ourselves that we are capable of supporting ourselves and through our ability to support ourselves in the now moment which is any moment <laughs> which is any moment you can be watching this from a year a year from now and it's still the now moment so stepping into that awareness and going forth and bringing love the love that you are to all that you do because we are here to evolve and this is Archangel Michael and it's a number 38 it's a master number 11 3 plus 8 is 11 this is what we all are each and every person that you see is a descended master who came here with the ability to ascend and how do we do this through love through love of self and once we step into that love of self the truth of who we are Truly, all wounds are healed in that space once you make the decision to accept and honor all that you see, all that you are, and move forward knowing that you, grace, <laughs> grace is the gift that's available to all of us and you know we each have an opportunity to ascend and I'm seeing all this golden light here in this tower speaking of you being the channel the the um, the the channel really that's it the channel you are the channel the vehicle of light the vessel of light here to anchor in I love that it's gateway three because this speaks to me of the gateway of the soul coming in through the thymus gland, the high heart chakra, and anchoring in our power, which is love, through the self into Mother Earth, our connection to the Earth. We all have this opportunity to ascend. And we all have this opportunity to live our dream. What is your dream? You're being asked to remember, my friend. It's really time to remember. And for many of us, we have remembered. And there's this new uh, zest. Life has a new flavor. Because we have truly, I, I was guided to bring my little frog friend, my new crystal friend with me, this frog, which really symbolizes purification. And that has been an energy that's been around a lot this past week with the new moon. And bat is death or birth, death and rebirth. And we're all being asked to die to our old ways of being. Haven't you had enough pain? And that's the question each soul must ask for himself. And each soul must keep in mind that we become the master we were born to be through the honoring of the Holy Trinity within. Divine Mother, Father, Child, Mother, Father, God. This is us. This is us as much as anybody else, as much as anyone we've read about, as much as anyone we've been led was more divine than us. No, we're exactly the same. We are the same. Our essence at the core of us, we come from that same original spark. 
And so that spark resides within us. And here we've got this beautiful goddess, again, like a tree growing from the earth. And it says, I am the emerald goddess, fertility. And it's a 14, which is a 5 vibration. We step into our power when we understand that we are forever evolving and changing. Nothing stays the same. If it does, it usually becomes stinking and rotted. And ugh. That which is growing, that which is evolving, is forever shifting and changing. We are the master shifters. And it's through moving out of pain, shifting the pain out of our physical, dense 3D body that we move into the lightness of who we are and the connection that we share with the earth. You know, and these beautiful peonies here, which are just the complete and total embodiment of unconditional love. That's what I feel. It's like this divine goddess energy, divine mother energy guiding us forward. So I'm being guided to say, trust yourself. And know that this is a really fertile time and it's up to you how far you want to go. What are you willing to do to birth your dreams? Find balance. And where does the balance come from? Within. Balance is not outside of me. And we've got this beautiful butterfly here. We transform through finding our own inner balance. Finding new ways to communicate with ourselves everything this is the thing this is what the master knows everything begins with the self and a lot of people will say oh that's uh that's selfish that's egocentric oh my gosh you really think highly of yourself well i should i deserve that i honor my own greatness and i deserve that i love myself and it's not about tooting my horn, hey, look at me over here. No, no. It's about learning to walk the path of the heart in humility and joy and love and free of pain, free from that back there. Because what the heck, what the hell good does it serve us right here? Well, if we're still feeling it in a negative way, it serves us to re heal that. It serves us, an op it gives us an opportunity to heal our pain. Or we can exert free will and stay dense and heavy and continue to perpetuate that pain pattern that we're asked to break free from so that we may ascend to our full glory, home to love within us. And we're vehicles of light. And there's been a lot of solar activity in the last... Um, in the last little in the last few days leading up to the solstice and I suspect we're going to continue to be bombarded <laughs> is the word I hear bombarded with energy and yet when you come back to that truth of who you are the essence of who you are which is love unconditional love unconditional is beautiful and heals all wounds and we all deserve to heal and we all deserve to break through and we all deserve that we're asked to get into action to manifesting the dream, your dream, and um, anchor in the truth of the love that we all are. Because we are each walking through our own enchanted moonlit forest. And it says mystery, magic, and excitement. And it's number 27, so that means it's a nine. Which I always say, those of you who know me, you're on the right path. This is, you are on the path. And the, the spiritual path, not many, there are a lot, uh, quite a few talking about it now. No one was talking about it when you were growing up, telling you, yes, this is the good stuff. The stuff that you remember, all those connections you felt at four, five, six, and seven, all those magical connections you felt, all those fairy tale dreams that you had. That was how you're. That's how you're guided to go through life and have a good life, a happy life, by being true to who you are and honoring all your connections. So, and our forest, each of us has a different looking forest, right? For me here, this is one little magical part of my forest, my backyard. And there's other spaces I have that are magical. So what's your, where's your enchanted forest? 
Yours may be somewhere entirely different. It doesn't matter. They're all beautiful. We are all deeply rooted and deeply connected. One of the messages I was receiving for the uh, new moon was that it was the third chakra above our crown, so gateway three, third chakra above our crown. Wide, it's wide open, so we're all open along our channel up to the third chakra, which is our uh, the um, soul star chakra that wants to come into the high heart, the thymus gland, and be the embodiment of our fifth dimensional self here on Mother Earth, Gaia. And where we're having some issues and many are blocked, it's the third chakra below the feet. So for those of you who are doing this anchoring work, we're being asked to bring it right down to the third chakra below the soles of our feet so we have that balance as we ascend up, we're also ascending downward. And so there's a point. The death and rebirth process takes us, oh, we have to die in essence, old ways. And that can be heavy as we're releasing these heavy, dense, denser energies. This can be taxing work on our bodies. So I've been guided back to my Merkaba for weeks now as, and, and with the awareness that this body, I am a vehicle of light. And I have my own natal chart, my own grid, if you will, planetary grid, that supports me here on the earth. And I'm to bring it down through this physical body, anchor it in to the uh, physical body of Mother Earth, and then begin to draw up that way so that we can express out this soul's essence here through that anchoring of, because it's really that vibration of love. And so as we anchor this, there's a little bit of unsettling. It can be unsettling. It can be challenging on the physical body. It can be really challenging and taxing on the mental body. And if you're really feeling taxed by the mental body, I'm hearing it's the head space, the mental body plugged into the fear body, which is the ego. So again, for each soul, it's going to be different. And um, this is how I am in some ways able to support you too beyond these videos is the one-on-one -on -one connection that we share on a soul level. So I just want to say happy solstice. Enjoy in uh, my part of the world, uh, the Northern Hemisphere. Enjoy the longest day of the year. <laughs> I sure will. And uh, on those that are experiencing that coming into um, the shortest day of the year, uh, really honoring um, the, the need to go within and to really um, nurture the self, honor all the, 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 sh the light and the dark. And it's all done from within. So please do visit me on Facebook on Sunday. I will be sharing some of my crystal creations and healing spiritual tools to support you on your journey of ascension as I continue to um, joyfully um, journey to the magic that is me. And I am just loving the way my enchanted forest is growing. How about you? And if not, maybe I can support you. So please do have a look at the um, Solstice event page. And on Sunday, I will be sharing um, Solstice soul messages and that are really intended to support you in your forward movement from this now moment. So from my beautiful healed heart straight into yours, I'm sending you so much love light, respect, and gratitude. I wish you a happy solstice, and I look forward to connecting with you online soon. Take good care. Namaste.